So I decided to map out all of Genshin Impact using the bug from last video. And this took me 200 hours. So I decided to split this video up into three sections using the bug, math, and theorizing in order to make a full map of Genshin Impact. So happy holidays to everyone and enjoy. In order to make myself not want to die, I needed to think of a great way in order to map this out. So what I thought was one of the best ideas was to map out the coast of the game. I went around the entire coast of Tavat. I, 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 I just started putting waypoints everywhere on every edge that something happened. And so, and now my map, I've used so many waypoints. I can't use anymore. <laughs> I have, I've run out. Um, and so, yeah, now I have a pretty good view of what is happening on the outsides of the map. But with using this method, there's a pretty big problem. One, the bug only gets me two meters every minute. So it takes a long time. And secondly, if you go far enough, the game teleports you back. It sort of has this area that you just can't cross, even if you're going outside of bounds, that it just teleports you away. I don't really know what the cause of this is, but it prevents me from exploring a lot of the map. But from this, I've, I've mapped out some islands next to Liwa Harbor, some of the deserts on the side of Sumeru. Uh, there's e I've even found like some weird stuff outside of the map, like. But one of the problems is I can only do this on land. If there's ever a water boundary blocking me, I can't get across it because you don't get your position saved in water or in air. So I'm only able to go across the land, which has been kind of frustrating because there are more areas that I can explore with this bug, but I'm unable to because I can't get past the water. There is this concept in math called triangulation. In essence, you have two people facing a direction towards an apple, but you don't really know where the apple is. If you draw a line where each of the people are facing, you can use the point where the two lines intersect to find out where the apple is. How this relates to Genshin Impact is that we can use this method to continue mapping out the map. In this example, I am looking at a mountain from a specific point. I draw a line where I'm looking at, and then I go to another point and look at the same mountain. I draw another line again, and where these two lines connect is where the mountain is. So I use this method to map out even more of the map. And while I must stress that this isn't 100% accurate, like what we achieved with the bug method, it allows me to map out a lot more of the game and is way faster than using the bug. So from this, I have mapped out a pretty large portion of the game. Here's what the map looks like right now. But there is still a large portion of the game that I am unable to see. So the only thing left to do is to theorize. I think for theory purposes, it's pretty fair to make assumptions as to where each of the regions are. For instance, if you look north of Liyue or Sumeru, you see a vast wetland. The only region that is really known for water and that literally has been mentioned has a diving license is Fontaine. So I think it's pretty fair to say that Fontaine is located in this area north of Liyue and Sumeru. Since Natlan is a hot area, I would hasten to guess that it's on the left side of the map, probably near where these deserts are, and it could stretch along the west coast. And that which leaves Sleznaya to fill in the gaps right here in the north area, northern portions of the map. You may have noticed that there's actually a lot of area that isn't encompassed by any of the regions that I just mentioned, which these areas are just parts of nations that just aren't finished yet. For instance, this area outside of Mondstadt, it seems like a lot of it's just underdeveloped and will probably be added in the future, as we have areas in Mondstadt that have been mentioned, but we can't visit, like Dornman Port. But anyways, from all of these assumptions, I feel like it's pretty safe to guess that the map looks like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a happy holidays and see you guys next time.